Sombreros. Um. Oh, what the hell? Just got ran over. I am Billy Bob. There's a Mexican hat. Sombrero. Yeah. Should have known that. Why are these sombreros on the road? You're not safe here, sombreros. Come with me. No! That car killed my sombrero. Why do I have zero points? I've gotten all of these sombreros, but I still have zero points. I must shoot all of these damn city dwellers riding on my roads trying to run over my precious sombreros. But I shall bring them to safety. Hey, there's another guy. I'm gonna kill you, other guy. Screw you, other guy. You're gonna die. No, get back here. I'm killing you, other guy. I love how when I'm farthest to the right, I can't actually turn to the right anymore. Like, I can't even look there. Look at that. And I can't kill that other guy, so I'm... No! Get back here. I will kill you. Rest in peace. In death. Oh, there's another guy. Gotta kill him. There you go. That's what you get for trying to touch my sombreros. You get painful death, just like all of these people driving to work. They can go to hell. They're endangering my sombreros. <laughs> Rest in peace. This is like a surreal masterpiece. Both this particular game and just Action 52 in general. It's like, if you've seen those sites that show like intentionally bad art, like amazingly bad art, that's, that's what this game is. It's like the Mona Lisa of fail. Oh god! I turned into a giant freaking skull. Anyway, I wanted to die. Thank you. Why was I getting sombreros anyway? They weren't adding points. Storm over D. Storm over the desert. Saddam Hussein. We're gonna kick his ass. Oh god. Giant Stalin! What the hell? There was like a giant robot Stalin for a second there. I saw it. You can't tell me I didn't see it. Where is he? Freaking tanks. Oh god, there's Stalin. My pills must be wearing off. Stalin is back. All of these enemies are just leaving the screen. I love- this tank has the smallest turning radius of any tank in existence. This is the best tank ever. Except- oh god. Oh, you can just run him over. Come out, robot Stalin. We shall do battle. You won't escape me this time. Not this time. Never again. Oh, level two. Where is Robot? Robot Stalin, get over here. I have something for you. I have many things for you. Many things that I dare not speak of. No! Robot Stalin is escaping me again. You can't fool me, Robot Stalin. I know this is your territory. You have come to Iraq to, um... I have no idea. What? My bullets are ineffective against Robot Stalin. Dear God, it's even worse than I imagined. I love how these little guys are just trying to fight a tank with just guns. Anyway, I would really like to kill Robot Stalin before I die, but... But really, don't we all? Isn't that all of our goals in life? To kill Robot Stalin? Robot Stalin, die! No! He's escaping again, just like in my dreams. I wish I'll haunt my dreams again, surely, if I do not kill him. 
Get back here, Robot Stalin. My tank treads thirst for thine blood, Robot Stalin. Thine robotic blood, and, um, that tank was shooting back for- Yeah, that tank was badass. It was moving backwards and shooting forwards. Technically, a tank should be able to do that just fine, but not in this crappy game. Die! You monster! Okay, I'm, I'm really thinking Robot Stalin is invincible. I'm also really thinking I don't want to play this terrible game anymore. And I haven't died yet. I want to die, but, like, it's so hard to touch things. Because they're only on screen for, like, one second. Like, literally. Thank- what? <laughs> I leveled up by bumping into a tank. Wow. Robot Stalin! I killed him! I ran over Robot Stalin. My life is complete. No god, he's back! He's back. Something kill me. Seriously, I don't want to play this anymore. So terrible I can't even die. God. Well, we'll be back with more terrible games. You know, I looked this game up on Wikipedia, and do you know it's insane? This game cost five million dollars to produce. And it costs four hundred thousand dollars to play this game for twelve seconds. What the hell? But seriously though. What the fuck? Um no, they charged two this game cost two hundred dollars in the eighties. If you wanted to buy this piece of crap, it costed two hundred dollars. And I don't even understand what's... I guess it's like, terrible Mario. But doesn't even deserve to be called anything remotely like Mario. This is... Uh, like, half the enemies don't even appear. And they're like invisible spikes that kill you. I just try to step on everything that looks like a sprite, and I guess that works. What? So have I even- how many games have I even gotten to past level 1 in? Probably like less than 1 in 5. But, can you blame me? Can you? Like, I would like to show more of the game, but it's not even worth it. They came! Giggity 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 goo! Alright. What the hell? Uh, we are in the dice galaxy. What the fuck? Did it crash? <laughs> it crashed! <laughs> wow. Anyway, we're in the dice galaxy, and, uh, some giant neurons appeared in our galaxy, and we're like, screw you, neurons. And I like how my bullets, like, there's only one bullet, like, animation, or whatever you want to call it. There's only one sprite for bullets, there's no, like, down shooting. You just shoot sideways bullets. <laughs> And I get hit by, like, a paper airplane. And I love how it just crashes when you die. That's- that's a nice touch. So is this just the- this is all the game is? Is that a power-up? Or is it death? It's death. I can't even get a game over in this game. I don't- I don't even know what to do with myself. I want to protect the dice galaxy from the evil Stanley Cup invaders, but uh, oh, I got some, uh, I got some pee. Now we have, um, we have pee. <laughs> it 
the music is truly fitting of this. Oh, I also on Wikipedia, this game, the music in this game is also apparently plagiarized. This appalling crap is stolen from something else. Laser League. This game actually has a really good story, see. This man, Raji G. Lasers, he's in the Laser League, and he's heading to the Laser League Stadium to play laser ball, but these mops and uh, toy cars and D DNA are going to stop him, but he's like, no, screw you guys, I got my laser mop. And that's about it. We're passing some giant tinker toy buildings with holes in them. It is truly a post-apocalyptic tinker toy world. And there's a giant amoeba. Well, this game has more variety in enemies than most of the games, but... It sort of shoots them out all at once. Plus, all of them are completely identical in what they do. I don't even know what to say. This... You know, the story's okay. If you like sports titles, but... Other than the Laser Ball Championship, there's not much going for this game. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I can't even think of anything to say about this game. I even made up a backstory for you, and you still disappoint. Laser League. Why does this always leave me off at the first game? Anyway. Billy Bob. And the game's name isn't even on the screen. Billy Bob. Is, um, doing something. Billy Bob is in the search for the treasure of Monkey Island. There are blue torches and falling spears. An army of falling blocks and spears threaten to invade Billy Bob's country. But Billy Bob isn't going to let that happen. Because Billy Bob came here to play terrible games and chew bubblegum. And he's all out of gum. He's also all out of jumping ability. I guess maybe that's part of his gum. I can just barely get... I'm going to save state. We're going to get past... Let's see if we can actually beat this level. Sure. Okay. Let's go. This guy controls the most awkward way imaginable. Okay, there we go. Oh, you hold up. You don't jump. Oh, god damn it. What? It starts you right at the very edge of the freaking platform. Look at that. You are literally one pixel away from fall. Oh, you're two pixels away from falling. Excuse me. I was completely wrong. What the hell? Oh, you can shoot. I love how the bullet goes out before you even draw the weapon. Billy Bob is actually a psychokinetic bullet guy. He just carries around a gun because it looks cool. And I love how they're pits of spikes, but you can't even live long enough to fall into them. Oh, and the running in midair, that's a nice touch. Billy Bob is the airbender, and he walks on air. Does this game even have levels? Because I'm going to quit if, like, I don't go to... Whoa! Level 2? Level 2! Same as the first. What's down here? Oh, wow. I'm surprised that was not death. I'm, like, amazed. Oh, what the hell? What's the point of this room? She's like, oh, screw you. You tried to play the game. 
go up, Billy Bob. Turns out Billy Bob is deathly afraid of turning to the left. And he completely refused to climb up leftwardly. So I'm not even sure how to kill myself. Oh wait, spears? Something kill me, for God's sake. Thank you.